Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate an image if you are working with blueprints and other steps. So, uh, let me just show you. Uh, uh, it would be good in terms of splitting. So, if I just insert a print and go to canvas, as you guys can see the picture here, uh, this basically uses when you are working with the blueprints and sketches to enable the, uh, uh, your to uh, convert your 2D sketches into the 3D. So, I'm going to select an image. Uh, let's say a video uh, uh, something from my uh, Yeah, so here uh, what I have here uh, I have just I am just going to insert an image and scale it I don't need any dimension right now and press ok now you can see that we have a dimension here It's a screenshot of the working here and this is a blueprint of an iPhone 13 Pro So what I'm going to do is my uh, the dimension is uh, the uh, drawing is haven't calibrated yet uh, basically what i'm going to do is uh, let's say that i'm going to model this iphone using this blueprint in one is to one ratio so i don't i need my dimension to be accurate as the blueprint and for that i need to calibrate this particular picture so with reference to any dimension let's say from here to this point to this point a dimension is 168 160.8 so what i'm going to do is right click on it and go to calibrate now just front any front view and it will ask you about select two point and give it a dimension so dimension from this point to this point is pretty clear here so what i'm going to do is uh, select this point and the other point here just right here and you guys can see the actual dimension is 29 point something while it needs to be uh, 160.8 so what i'm going to do is I am just going to make it 160.8 and if I just press enter you guys can see my dimension has already been increased now if I just go to let's say sketch and I make a line from this point to this point and press D you guys can see it's 160 point something uh, basically I have just measured it roughly you guys can alter it like this I don't like that this basically depend on how how much zoomed you have used or how um, detailed your pictures are so this is how you calibrate your canvas in fusion 360 hope you guys will enjoy the video don't forget to share and subscribe and thank you and have a nice day